What the shit is 1995 collector's choice baseball? Apparently, this comes with two silver signature cards per pack, and I think one gold signature card per box. Back before they did really cool things like, you know, actual signatures. The other thing about this is, you crashed the game. What that means is, I guess there is a card in here of a player. It says if the feature player on your You Crash the Game card hits a home run on the feature date, you can trade it in for a You Crash the Game card set. I have no idea. I have to assume these packs, whoa, all new retails for 99 cents. 24 packs, nope, 36 packs. So I guess this was $36 when it came out. All right, don't expect to find any awesome hits in this. The gold signatures though, I do remember back in, I don't wanna talk about how old I am. They used to be worth something. Let's just put it that way. The gold signatures are worth probably nothing right now. Oh my God, these packs, I guess used to hang right there. And they're actual foil packs too, that's kind of crazy. So, all right, this would be like one of your silver, quote unquote, signature cards. I guess it's, you know, their signature, just not real. Oh my God, these things are just, here's the other signature, Tony Gwynn. All right, well, it doesn't matter. Let's just fly through this and see if we can find the You Crash the Game card and see if we can find the gold signature. What you used to be all about. Now, if I remember right, I think the gold card had a gold border on it as well, but I thought the silver cards had silver borders. So I don't know. All right, this isn't the... Okay, no, let's try to find the You Crash the Game thing. I think the cards are almost all in the same order. Ah, these packs are sweet. Killing the environment, but sweet. Oh, all right, these, this is definitely an future foundation. All right, okay. Ah, oh, I love how they package this stuff. Hope I'm not missing the You Crash the Game thing. I assume the card would evidently say it on it. All right, I'm not even gonna bother looking up any of these prices except for the gold signature if we find it. Is this a, okay. You crash the game. Here we go. Alex Rodriguez. Ooh, that would have been a good one. I don't know if the silver is about, but apparently uh, September 1994. Mm, or September 24th, what, 1995? Is it 96? All right, here's how you crash. Collect your favorite MLB superstars. It ends 2-1 of 96. Shit. We're off by a little bit. Watch and see if the player in this card hits a home run on the date listed on the front of this card. If he hits a home run, mail this card in along with a $3 check or money order. All right, we'll send you back a really cool 20 card You Crash the Game card set. That's actually, I mean, that's cool. It's a cool gimmick for back then, back before they had a bunch of uh, inserts. Alex Rodriguez, I definitely would have felt okay having him. I'll have to look up and see if I can find the price of the uh, complete set. There isn't gonna be a wrap up on this video. This is just a what the shit is this. So, all right, we only care about, okay, we can fly through these. Because we're only going to care about the two cards in the front, and potentially the you crash the game. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, so no you crash the games. What's the back of it look like? All right. I do not think there are any other inserts in this set. Where's our gold signature? And just probably take all these cards and throw them away. I should keep all the cards actually and start doing giveaways and just give them all away if you guys want all the junk. I don't know if you'd even want any of this junk. Is this a miscut card? No. Yeah, it's just stuck with the other one. I don't think I've really seen miscut baseball cards, honestly. Okay, some more silver. Silver. Crash the game. Manny Ramirez. Oh my god, blast from the past. September 26th was the date on this one. Wonder if we'd have won. Wonder what the silver's all about. I'm sure it's a gold one, but let's see if we can find it. Maybe just get like a gold border parallel set of it. I don't know. Why are these like pink? Why are they pink? I don't know. Nothing wrong with pink. I'm just wondering if there's something special about it. I'm also not sure why I'm setting all the silver signatures aside. I don't know. I guess it was pink just to be pink. Okay, now we're getting a shit ton of them. Are they all the rookies or something? I really don't know. 
You wonder how much I paid for this box. I think it was like five bucks or something. I don't know. I don't remember. It was so long ago. By long ago, I mean probably like a month ago. These foil packs are still freaking me out a bit. Oh, here we go. Another silver one. Mark McGuire. Holy shit, they're like... Are they all just really big named people? Alright, there's our there's our three. I should look up and see if they actually hit a home run on that date, but that would just take so much effort. Autofocus. Stop it. Don Manning, what was that? Yeah, well, was, Jesus, these names. Alright, what the hell is this? What's the call? What's the call? Ken Griffey Jr. Alright. Here we go. Wait, where's the answer? Alright, there's the answer. Don't do it. Alright. Carrickin Jr. rips a Randy Ronson curve. Randy Ronson. Randy Johnson curve. And the ball's on its way to Camden Yards. However, before going to the fence, the ball hits a wayward seagull. Jay Bruner catches the bird, and Ken Griffey Jr. picks up the ball off the ground and fires the second. Where Ripken Jr. is tagged. What's the call? A. The ball was obviously, I'm going to try to get this closer. The ball was obviously leaving the yard. Ripken Jr. gets a homer. Ripken Jr. receives a ground rule double. The play is live and Ripken Jr. is out at second base. Or Ripken Jr. is out because Bruner caught the bird. Okay, the answer is... Um, hold it up to a mirror. Alright, answer is B. All right, the play is a double double rule ground. Ripken Jr. did, st okay, it's B. The answer is B. He gets a ground rule double. Hold it up to a mirror to read it. That's kind of weird. It's kind of cool those are in there, actually. All right, silver and silver. Uh, Ryan Klesko, don't know who he is. Ooh, it's a gold. Let's see if there's anything different with the gold, actually. Actually, hey, there he is. Okay, a gold. Okay, just silver set, gold set. That's, I still don't know what the difference is. I assume just the stamping on it. I think it was cool in here. Silver and silver, damn it. Let's get some more what's the calls, that's fucking sweet. I'm not even halfway through this box, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, I'm taking forever on that. Silver and silver. Start flying through this now. Silver signature and silver signature. All right, Mike Piazza, September nineteenth. So apparently, you got a lot of tries at this per box. This actually would have been pretty sweet to open back in the day. Silver and silver. What the hell? What the hell is that? Hold on. I guess I say, what the shit is that? National Pack Time. It's got a bunch of names on it. To receive your 18 card National Pack Time set, simply send in what? 28 1995 baseball foil wrappers from that company or any of the other. Ah, uh, yeah. Is there an ex. Oh, please tell me there's no expiration date on this. Ah, shit. Deadline is 6 30 95. Alright, so what would you get here? 18 card National Pack, pack Time set. Hmm. I should send this in anyways, just to see what the receptionist does. I might do that, you know, just to fuck with them. Probably go straight to the garbage where everyone else does that, because I'm sure they do. Yeah, come on. Oh, well, silver signatures. And silver. Packaging is so goddamn weird. Alright, we would have got Frank Thomas. I would have had faith in Frank Thomas. That stupid foil packaging. Silver and silver. What's the call? It's time for what's the fucking call? All right. 
On an Eric Caro single, Mike Piazza runs to the stop sign at third base. Runs through the stop sign, huh? And the third base coach knows Piazza is a dead duck at the plate. The coach grabs Piazza by the shirt as he rounds third to slow him down. Piazza returns to third base. The throw goes home. What's the call? A. Piazza is credited with a run scored. Piazza is safe at third base. Piazza is out at third base. Piazza must return to second base. Pick now. All right, time's up. The answer is C. Piazza is out at third base, and it probably explains right here. But, all right, what is it? The third base coach. I'm done. Okay, there we go. Did we get a gold signature? I swear you get a gold signature. And silvers. Silver and silver. Come on, give me one more what's the call for some reason. I'm not even trying to guess them. Oh my god, this video is over 10 minutes long. I am so sorry, everyone. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Ah. Oh, here's another redemption thing. Silver and silver. Yeah. Did I miss the gold? Oh, what's the call? We got a what's the call? Okay, what's the call here? Backpedaling to catch Fred McGriff's long drive. Barry Bonds realizes he has turned the wrong way. The ball is coming over his shoulder, and his arm is a few inches too short to make the play. There is no time to turn, so he takes off his cap and catches the ball in it. What's the call? A. McGriff is credited with a triple and may try for home at his peril. B. McGriff is out. C. McGriff is credited with a triple. D. McGriff is credited with a home run. Answer now, ladies and gentlemen. Time's up. The answer is A. There's a bunch of words on there that I can't read. Here you go if you want to try to read it. All right. And we're almost done. In this 12-minute video of opening cards with no hits in it. Silver and silver. Hmm. Let's see what the odds of getting a gold are even on here does it say all right gold signature are one in 35 wait silver are two and one a gold is one in 35 all right there should be a gold unless i missed it silver and silver can't rock mustaches like that anymore Silver and silver. Who we got now? Oh my God, Raul, Ma Raul Mondesi. Mondesi. Oh my God, Raul Mondesi. There you go. There you go. I can speak. I swear. August thirteenth. Wow, you're not playing in September, huh? Slacker. Raul Mondesi. I want to say it is silver and silver. Silver and gold? Damn it. Okay, I've got one pack left here. Did I miss the goddamn gold signature somewhere? S silver and silver, what the mother fuck? Ooh, who is this? Gary Sheffield, September 4th. Okay, did I miss the fucking gold? I had to have, right? I had to have. So that's silver, 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 maybe. No, that's the gold. Are you fucking kidding me? That's the gold. You see that difference right there? Yeah, neither do I. But there's a difference if I tilt it. That's bullshit. You can almost tell. Almost. I'm not sure unless it's just a fucked up silver, 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 silver. silver. Alright, well, one of the ones that I used to uh, saw before I actually had gold and silver borders making it infinitely better than doing what I'm doing right now and taking up all of our precious time. Back in 1995, they really didn't think about all the YouTube man hours that'd be wasted searching for gold signatures. All right, all this goes in the trash. I'll look this up. If it's worth absolutely fucking anything, it'll say right here. I'm sure it's not. So that was what the shit is 1995 collector's choice. 14 minute video. Jesus Christ.